Hello, and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the Aeonium kiwi. Aeonium kiwi is one of the most versatile plants, capable of growing in a variety of different environments. It is a gorgeous evergreen succulent with dreamy colors and easygoing nature that's hard to find among pretty houseplants. It has spoon-shaped succulent leaves tinged with yellow and red highlights that complement the green undertones spectacularly. It's a variety of Aeonium Haworthy. Although this Aeonium inherits its monocarpic nature from its parent species, it offsets profusely, resulting in many rosettes that can take up the slack every time a rosette dies after blooming. It can be grown indoors and outdoors because it adjusts its nature according to its conditions. Eonium kiwi is a forgiving succulent. It requires little care to thrive, but you have to abide by some rules to make it truly thrive. Eonium kiwi needs full sun to grow best. It can tolerate light shade, but needs at least four hours of direct sunlight daily. If you want to grow your Aeonium in an area that gets less light, you should use high-quality artificial light, such as fluorescent bulbs or LED lights. East or south-facing windows will provide the plant with plenty of direct sunlight in the mornings. This is important because the harsh afternoon sun can sometimes harm the plant's health and cause sunburn. Aeoniums are succulents, so they need little water. They are also native to arid conditions and can tolerate long periods of drought. However, you will want to ensure you water them regularly as they have shallow root systems that need moisture to thrive. The first rule when watering aeoniums is, do not overwater. It's better to water infrequently, but more deeply than to keep your plant constantly moistened by frequent light watering. This can easily cause rot if the soil has become waterlogged. Aeonium kiwi grows best when temperatures are between 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The plant doesn't like to be too hot or too cold, so keep it around 68 degrees Fahrenheit in summer and around 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit in winter. In areas where temperatures drop below the freezing point of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, Bring your plant indoors until warmer weather returns. Eonium kiwi plants thrive in average humidity conditions. Most of the time, their relative humidity should be above 50%. But if it dips below this level, then you may need to mist the plant one to two times a day or run a humidifier near it. Fertilizers should be used in spring or fall when the plants are actively growing. When using fertilizer, use a balanced fertilizer that equally contains nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Generally, you should feed approximately once at the beginning of spring and again at the beginning of fall. The quantity of fertilizer used should be based on the size of the plant. Eonium kiwi can be propagated by using stem and leaf cuttings. When using stem cuttings, select healthy stems that have mature rosettes. The best time to take cuttings is early spring when they are actively growing. Carefully cut off the lower end of each selected stem. Allow the cutting to callus over for a few days. Once everything is healed, plant your cuttings in a pot with balanced soil. Keep them under indirect light and moist, but not too wet. Water gently until roots form. If you are using leaf cuttings, Take cuttings from an established plant. Cut off each side of the leaf at an angle. Place your cutting in a small pot filled with well-draining soil. Water lightly to get the soil slightly moist. Keep the soil consistently moist over the next few weeks. Provide plenty of indirect, bright light, relatively high temperatures, and high humidity. Once the plant has rooted, you can transfer it to a larger pot with fresh soil and move it into a more permanent container. To keep your Aeonium kiwi happy and healthy, it's essential to pot it properly and give it the best conditions possible. The first step is choosing a pot that's big enough for your plant. Just note that the new pot needs to be slightly bigger than the old one to provide room for growth. 
spring is the best time to repot aeoniums. These succulents tend to go dormant during the summer months, and their growth slows significantly. Use a pot with drainage holes in the bottom. The size of your plant will determine what size pot you should choose. Choose a well-draining potting soil. Potting mediums labeled cactus or succulent mix are both appropriate options. Select a location where your plant will have plenty of sunlight. Remove the plant from its pot. Use the well-draining soil to fill up the new pot. Dig a hole and place the root ball inside. Push down on the soil around it to ensure that there are no air pockets left behind. Don't water until the roots have become established. Aeonium kiwi is considered non-toxic. It is safe to be around pets and children. These succulents are susceptible to aphids, mealybugs, and scale insects. Aphids are a common pest in the succulent world. They suck sap from your plant and secrete a sweet substance called honeydew, which attracts ants. Mealybugs are another common pest for succulents, but they're harder to treat than aphids. They feed on the sap of plants and cause stunted growth in yellowing leaves. Scales look like little white bumps covering your plant's stems and leaves. To get rid of these pests, regularly spray your plant with water. Prune out dead branches and stems. When it comes to pesticides, it's always best to stick with natural methods and products. Use soap spray to avoid damage. Spraying an insecticidal soap mixture directly onto the pest, if possible, is another option to control these pests. Take horticultural or neem oil and apply it directly to the affected areas of the plants. Please note and avoid overwatering the plant, placing it under harsh sunlight, using poorly drained potting mediums, and fertilizing during the dormancy period.